Now it's time to fix up the nav bar. So this is what it currently looks like right now. And when you click, you get that background dark red. And this is what it's supposed to look like going across here. Let's review what we have. I'm going to come over here and inspect. So we have a UL, uh, and you can see the margin above and below that. We have some list items, and you can see this one is the home. Let me put a temporary background color on one. With this temporary background color on, you can see that the background color goes all the way to the edge of the page. That's because the LI tag is a block level element. So the red shows you that even though the text ends here, the element itself goes all the way to the edge of the page. That's why the listed items are stacked on top of each other, because the LI tag is a block level element. And as you know, block level elements include a manual return in them. The nav, as the parent of that list, has uh, salmon colored background. So we need to figure out a way to make these items come up and be side by side. We're going to use the float property to do that. And the float is a new property that you're learning today. If you haven't watched the great 3D visualization of float, which is here, right there, if you haven't watched that yet, I recommend you pause this video and do so now. What I'm about to do on this page now is to float each of these items up here next to one another. I'm going to choose float left so that this one will stay where it is and these will just come up and stack beside it. So let's begin with that CSS rule. It's going to be li, so I'll put it right under the ul. Float left. That's all you have to type. Save and refresh. And it worked. Yep, that was part of it. They're floating now, but I've lost my color. So why did that happen? Why did they lose their color? Well, look up at the nav bar as I mouse over these parts. Here I am mousing over the nav, and you can see the size up there says it's 1,219 by 0. Now I'm going to float, hover over the UL, 1,219 by 0. Why do they think they are 0 pixels tall? That's because of the float property. All of the LIs have floated out of the UL. And when you put the float property on something, it moves it out. It floats them away. So the UL, which is the parent tag, here's the UL right here, it thinks it has no children. Therefore, it thinks it has no content. Therefore, it thinks that its height should be zero because it has no content. So I lose my salmon colored background. Dang, how do I fix this? Well, the overall problem is that the UL and the nav don't know about these LIs because they're floating. In order for the UL to know about its children, it would have to be floating also. So I'm going to try to set that up. I'll do it over here. I'm going to get over the UL and give it a float left. Now, when I mouse over the UL, I can see it looks like the UL understands that it's 18 pixels high. But the nav still thinks that it's 0 pixels high. See that? The UL can see it. You can see the UL. But the nav, you can't see at all. <sighs> because now, the UL is floating and it's the only thing that was in the nav. 
so the nav thinks it's zero pixels tall. So let's fix the nav. This is a huge pain, but that's why I'm going to show you a better way in a minute. Let's come over to the nav. Give that a float left. All right, well now you can see the color and it's now floating, but I don't really want the nav to float left necessarily. I want to be able to do some other things with it. But you can see that its height has come back. I'm going to refresh this so that I can get back to my original problem. All right. So there's another link in this week's folder, and it's called Float and Clear. And here it is right here. All about float and clear from CSSTricks.com. So it's about clearing your floats, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to fix up the UL so that we can see the background color. So I'm going to apply a very common fix to the UL. Here's the UL. It's got one property and value set to it. And up here, is the clear fix and you can see that it's a class called clear fix you can see that it's a lot of uh, looks very hacky and well <laughs> welcome to css um, this sort of means anything after that and the content would clear both and display in a certain way it's very very hacky yeah welcome to css so I'm going to go to the index.html and type class equals clear fix. Save. Refresh. All right. There it is. So note to yourself, right? If you're having trouble with all the children floating away of a parent tag, use the clear fix. This is not the only way to create a horizontal nav bar. This is just the way to do it using a float. So now let's see if we can give the nav bar the right height. I see on my CSS Let's make the nav bar the right height. You can see it's just not right. I see on my CSS that I've given the tags, the A tags, a padding of 5EM. And I don't really know right now why that isn't showing. It did show before. I remember it did when the A's were a list of elements. So you can see here in the index, my A's are in a list. And remember, the li tag is a block level element. Now, the, the floats that I've added to it have turned my A tag into an inline element. If I mouse over the A active, I can see the padding around it. But I can't see my uh, salmon color in the background. So the nav needs to know the actual size of these links. The nav is the parent tag, and it's calculating their heights based on the text that is in them, not including the padding. That's what it does with inline elements. If you want the parent to understand the actual size of the A's, they have to be seen as block elements. Let's look at the style sheet. This rule here says that if you want to be able to set height and width to an inline element, make it display as block. So I'm going to take it out of the comment and I think I'll actually move it up to my uh, near my other A's down here. 
And now I'll save and refresh. So now my parent tag of the nav is able to see its children, which are actually inline elements, as block elements.